my name is Helena, I'm a fourth year PhD student at the University of Southampton and today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my research. So my research is focused on trying to understand the genetic underpinnings of autism spectrum disorder um, and to do that I use the model organism C. elegans. So C. elegans is a type of nematode that feed on bacteria and these little worms, we culture them in the lab on these NGM plates. So you can get hundreds, even thousands of worms on this little plate. Um, and they're very tiny. They're only one millimetre in length, even when they're an adult. So we have to use a microscope in order to see them. When we look under the microscope, we can see here an adult C. elegans. So this is its um, head and this is its tail. We can also see here some younger C. elegans as well. So one of the things we do here is we look at the behaviour of the worm um, and try and understand autism in this way. So to do this, we'll take a worm like this, which is wild type um, and has a full set of genes and we'll compare its behaviour to mutant worms. So mutant worms will have either one or more genes that have been knocked out or mutated in some way. So part of my research has been to um, design and um, create a mutant C. elegans um, and to do this I've used um, the genome editing technique called CRISPR-Cas9 um, which actually this year won the um, Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So to do CRISPR-Cas9 in the worm I injected a worm as you can see here and this basically involved injecting the worm with a pair of molecular scissors which cuts open the DNA and then allows me to make a very precise mutation within the worm's genes. Um, so what this allowed me to do was introduce a human mutation that's been found in autism um, and introduce it into the worm and then see how this affects its behaviour. So techniques like this, culturing worms, using mutant worms and looking at their behaviour, um, I learnt these techniques in my third year project in my biomedical science degree here at Southampton um, and then these skills directly transferred into my PhD. Thank you.